Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things quick tip. Now, a few of you guys have asked me how you can paint plasma effects on plasma guns, pistols, and what have you. And the truth be told, they're really simple. I've got here an Iron Hand who is, I mean, he just needs his chapter badge. He's pretty much ready to rock and roll, put on the table. But there's one last thing to do, and that's going to be his plasma coils. Now, this is really easy. All I'm going to need is these four colors here. I've got Celestra Grey as a base coat for the white. Then you can use whatever color you want. Uh, I'm going to use Gilliman Blue because, to my mind, plasma coils are blue. But you can use Fuegan and Orange. Um, Hex Wraith Flame is also a really good color if you want a, a sharp, sort of glutinous, glowing green. It's really neat. And then when that's dry, all we're going to do is bop on a little bit of Prax City White. Easy as. That is as tough as it gets. So let's grab ourselves a small layer brush or equivalent and get started. Now, ordinarily, I probably wouldn't have painted everything else before getting to this stage. So grab yourself your Celestra Grey, and you'll see this goes on very quickly. You might want a second coat. Actually, to be honest, don't listen to that. You don't want a second coat. Just carefully dabbing along there and fill in all of these little lines in the plasma gun. All right, so fill that in with Celestra Grey. Now, once you're done with that, just pop a little bit of water into your white scar and do the same thing again with the white. You do want to cover over all of that area again. Don't leave any uh, recesses with just Celestra Grey because we want a really sharp color once we put the, uh, the glaze on. So, now our white's dried and you might be wondering, when does the hard part start? And uh, it doesn't. <laughs> We've got here our Gilman Blue. Like I said, this can be any old color you fancy. Best if it's a shade or one of the technical paints kind of designed for this. But just run on the whole white thing. And if you do end up accidentally getting any that sort of flows over the edge, don't worry too much if it collects. All you got to do is just fill in all of the white area. Easy as that. Now, once your shade or your glaze or whatever you're using is dry, this is what you've got. And you could leave it there, to be honest. Uh, it is that simple. But let's go a little bit further. I've got here a small dry brush. Uh, you might even choose if you can find a smaller brush that you like to use for this. Now, because this has got a, a flat edge to it, what I'm going to do is if I just angle them like this, I'm going to dry brush lightly along that very edge where the plasma coils kind of bend over. Okay, so both sides of the top of the gun. There we go, it's as simple as that. Just enough that it looks like it's catching the light. You can, if you fancy, go a little bit more into it, but the trick is just to be a little more careful because you're gonna be coming near parts of the model that you've already painted. And maybe you've spent more time painting it than I have these iron hands. <laughs> but whatever the case, that is how I paint my plasma, and it is that easy. So grab your brushes, guys, give it a shot, and uh, hope you're not rolling those ones to hit. Thank you very much for your time. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.